What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time, but I'm back. <laughs> okay, so there's been quite a few life adjustments for me to make over the past few months. Uh, if you checked out the last video that I posted on my channel, it will completely tell the story of why I've been away for so long for good reason. So today's video, let's just get straight into this because it's been so long. I just, I'm excited to be back. Today's video is about the Phone Rebel Flex Series iPhone case. So let me just start off by saying that the Phone Rebel series of cases I have been trying to get for four to five years. If you don't know the background for Phone Rebel cases is, is if done by a YouTuber who I used to follow, still follow. Unfortunately, he doesn't post as much now because he's busy with his business. So I'd highly recommend it. If you want to check it out, his YouTube channel was called Everything Apple Pro. The channel's still live, lots of content on there. Do go have a look. And he does talk about the cases on there himself too. But in this video, I'm going to cover the pros, the cons, and cover the conclusion of whether or not this is a good case for you to buy for your iPhone. If you guys haven't already checked out my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. There's vlogs, there's tech videos, there's a lot more tech videos coming, and you'll see a bit of a pattern where I've been a bit of a hunting down the best iPhone cases for my iPhone. This year, I opted for the very first time to get the iPhone Pro Max, and it's the iPhone 15 Pro Max that I have, and it's been a game changer. To think I've spent so many years and I didn't buy a Pro Max phone, I kind of feel like I missed out now. But what they've done with the Pro Max is amazing, but that's this is talk for another video. So yeah, check out the old content. Don't forget to subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow. I've been at this for a few years now. I'm about 200 subscribers in. So you 200 people, thank you so, so much for subscribing and sticking with me throughout this journey. I haven't been paid for this video. I'm not sponsored in any way. This is my honest review as with all my other videos. So first thing I gotta say about this case is it's one of the best cases I have ever used on an iPhone. Hands down, one of the best cases I've ever owned. First thing you're gonna notice when you're holding your phone with this case on, it's pleasing to hold the phone. It feels like you're holding the phone and not a case. So with the Flex Series case, there's no bezels on the side of the case. So when you're swiping left to right or up and down, you feel like you're swiping across the phone and not hitting a barrier with your thumb or your finger on, on the side of the case where they're raised up to, even though they protect the screen, it just feels like you've got a naked iPhone and you're just using the phone. But at the same time, you are protected with a very well built case. Even the other day I met my friend and he, when I took out my phone, he looked at it and he saw the case and immediately it grabbed his attention. Even though he'd seen it before, but he, I haven't seen him in a couple months, so. <laughs> but still, it's eye-catching. People will look at it, they will notice it. If you're one of those people where you wanna kinda show off your phone, this, this is the case for you. So I've got the Flex series case, and I opted for the clear frosted version. There is a crystal version as well, and a Rebel series case, which is kind of like a carbon fiber look to it in black but I opted for the black frosted series case. The main reason I've decided to go for the frosted series, although I have to say the crystal one looks really, really nice, but the frosted one with my experience of probably the past two years of using my cases on the 13 and 14 iPhone series, the frosted case back is not a fingerprint magnet, which is really, really nice because the amount of times you have a clear case or crystal case and I just find myself wiping the back of it, using your sleeve to wipe off the fingerprints or something. But with the Frosted series, I haven't ever needed to even think about it. So definitely, if you're somebody who hates fingerprints on your case, Frosted series is the way to go. It does have bezels around the corners, the top and bottom, as well as a camera bump protection. So if you drop this phone, you're not gonna be in for too much of a shock. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, as I said, this is an honest review, I have dropped it twice. <laughs> in the house, not outside, not on concrete, not on the road, but it survived. There's been no dents, there's been no scratches, it's been working absolutely fine since. Now, despite the fact that there's no bezels on the side, the corners of the phone case are raised. So if you were to put the phone flat down on a surface, like a table or the floor or wherever, the raised bezels will still protect the screen. So it won't lie completely flat on the surface. The screen will not touch the surface. Those bezels are very, very slightly raised, but not too much where they annoy you and not so little where they're not gonna protect the phone. So they are there for protection and they look great too. The way it's been designed is fantastic. Now, speaking of drop protection, the inside of the case is lined with a nice bumper-like material. So if you do drop it and the impact hits on one of the corners of the phone, rather than it just running through the device, shattering the screen, the camera bump, it has got this bumper protection on the inside so it is shock absorbing at the same time. The color that I opted for for the case, it does have a nice gunmetal colored finish and the camera bump itself is protected by an all new machine aluminum lens. The other thing to note is because of the bezel-less sides of the case, you may be concerned about scratching the sides of the case, especially depending on the color of the phone that you chose. I went with space black because it was the darkest color I could find. <laughs> Although I have to say the titanium finish one on the iPhone 15 Pro series looks really, really nice, but I'm always going for the black or the space gray or whatever the darkest one is. If you're concerned about scratches on the side, maybe just from everyday use, regardless of whether you're dropping it or not, the Phone Rebel Flex series case does come with side protector film. And if you're not sure what that is, think of it as a film screen protector for the sides of your phone. And when you purchase this case from Phone Rebel, they actually send you pre-cut vinyl to put on the side of the phone. I, however, opted to put my own film on the case because what I found is the one that Phone Rebel supplied, because of the cutout, it did start to slightly start peeling off because when in your pocket, putting it in and out, in your bag, whatever, the film was catching between the side of the phone and where it met the case and it started peeling off from there. So I wasn't a fan of that. I did up to use my own side protector film, which is also a matte version I chose. There's one thing that I forgot to talk about in this video and that is the MagSafe capability that this case has. Combined with the MagSafe that's already in the phone, the magnets that they've put in to the Flex Series case are incredible. There have been some cases that I've used where the MagSafe has just been a little bit disappointing, but on this one, the MagSafe strength, it's really, really good. I've used it with chargers, I've used it with accessories, I've used it in my car. Not once have I had to worry about it or have it fall off. So MagSafe is incredibly strong magnets on this case. Okay, so now let's talk about the cons and the bad points of this case, because it's not all good. And depending on your likes and your preferences, you might not want to go for this one. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the case as a whole. It's a very, very tight fitting case. And I mean it, it's a very tight fitting case. So earlier on in the video, I mentioned I used my own side protector film to stop the size of the phone getting scratched. The one I chose goes all the way round to the corners of the phone. Now, when you're putting on the case, because it's so tightly hugging that iPhone, as soon as you push one of the sides over the film or around the corners, if you're not extremely careful, it will just push that film straight up, push it off, start it peeling, and then you've got to reapply the whole thing again if you're lucky enough to have spares. Another con about the case is the fact that when I first got it, being the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I wanted to record in ProRes, so I plugged in an external hard drive. To my shock, the USB-C cutout on the bottom of the Phone Rebel case was so small, the cable I had for my USB hard drive, it would not fit in there. I tried using an adapter, it wouldn't fit in there. It was the cutout was just too small. 
even some standard size charging cables I have would not fit in there. What I had to do was change up the cables because I wasn't going to change up the case. I had to buy some angled adapters and everything is working now. I'm actually currently filming this video on the iPhone 15 Pro Max with my external hard drive still up and running. So yeah, this is all in ProRes log that I'm recording it on. So it does work, but you, you're going to have to be a bit creative. You're going to have to play around with different cables and adapters to get what you want fitting through this case. And this is, again, speaking specifically from my experience with the Flex series case, it's on the higher end. So it is more expensive than your standard case. Over the years, I've bought a lot of premium brand cases and you'll see those videos on the channel. They've been slightly higher than what I'd usually like to pay for a phone case. Uh, now we're in the UK over here. This cost me about 55, 60 pounds. It was about seven months ago when I bought it. So roughly you're looking somewhere between the 50 to 60 mark. But then again, I have to say the amount of detail, the amount of precision and craftsmanship that's gone into this making this case is fantastic. And honestly, it's worth the price. But then again, it's gonna be your preference. It's completely your choice might not be willing to pay that price for a phone case alone. My decision was based off of that, it's gonna run me the life of the phone. So so long as I have the 15 Pro Max, I'll be using this case. To give you my conclusion for the Phone Rebel Flex Series 15 case, it's all round an amazing case. It really, really is. And that's my honest opinion. And I've used many cases, I've reviewed many cases this is honestly the best case I've ever used on my iPhone, hands down. And if I weigh it up, there's a lot more pros than there were cons that I could find about this case. I mean, you're gonna want a reason. There's gonna be some people who it's not gonna be your preference. You might not like it, you might love it like I do, but you're really gonna have to weigh out your options to see if it's worth you investing in this case. If you're looking for a phone case for your iPhone, which is stylish, a compact minimalistic design, but you want the protection, so you want a phone case on your iPhone, I have to give it to Phone Rebel. They've made an amazing case and this has to be the one for you to use. Yeah, it's got a few flaws. It's on the expensive side of things. The USB port, you're gonna have to compromise with, with certain cables and as I say, adapters as well. But I've let you know from my experience, there are some, some, bad points about it. So bear them as in mind. And yeah, I did it. <laughs> I made another YouTube video. I think it's been about six months now since I've been gone. But yeah, life hit me pretty hard, unexpectedly. So like I said, if you want to know why I've been gone, check out the previous video on the channel. Um, if you're wondering which one it is, it's titled Mum. So yeah, I'm gonna get a bit emotional now just talking about that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you there, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Glad to be back. Definitely making more content. Hopefully you're gonna see a lot more of me. Thank you very, very much. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. It really certainly does help out my channel helps me go a long, long way. This is my passion. I've always wanted to do this. I love making content. I love making videos for you guys. I just need the support to carry on. So thank you, thank you very, very much, especially to those guys who already have subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.